Well, I grew up in um, Pierce Old, Texas. Uh, it's a small town, uh, about 100 miles from the border. And I uh, got involved with uh, the migrant farm workers when I was uh, a member of the Catholic Youth Organization, the CYO. A group of us who graduated from, from high school a year before, or two years before, uh, decided to come to Wisconsin and, uh, and work in the canneries like, uh, like our friends before us. And we landed in, uh, in, uh, in Teresa, Wisconsin. We worked there for a while. And then one day, uh, a friend of mine, Luis Trevino, saw an ad in the paper uh, that's, that was looking for market counselors uh, to work with the market farm workers. So we decided to apply for the positions and we were hired. And we were assigned, or I was assigned, to the same place that I visited during my high school years here in Wisconsin. And I believe during the planning of uh, the meeting with uh, Alan Bradley was when uh, Father James Grappi uh, met with Father Maurice at the Spanish Center. Grappi came to, to the Spanish Center and, and uh, just informed uh, the South Side, for example, uh, out of respect, out of decency. Well, the Latin American Union for Civil Rights came to existence from that committee that met with Grappi and Father Maurice. That committee became the LECR. And the reason that we named it uh, the Latin American Union for Civil Rights was based on, on civil rights on Latinos. And everybody around uh, who was uh, discriminated against. So I quit UMAS and became the lead organizer for the LECR. The only way that you can find out about the concerns of people is to knock on some doors, talk to people, even before you make an assumption what the problems are. You know, you have to talk to the people that are suffering uh, those conditions. I had to give credit to, to Governor uh, Doyle for his administration because for the first time in history, the governor's office was combined of blacks, Latinos, women, minorities, Native Americans, the whole staff, you know, they offered me the position of deputy director of the office of the governor in Milwaukee. You know, we could say that the whole struggle of the Latino community in Milwaukee was from the late 60s all the way around to the 70s. And all the struggle that we had, all the marches and all the picket lines, all the takeovers of offices, uh, we were able to control and serve the neighborhood from our own agency. We control what we have today, and we have to protect it. We control humans, control the UCC, control other things that we fought for that belongs to this community.